Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and as always on every Wednesday, we are back with another episode of Destiny Zero Predictions. Now before we get into the video guys, I just want to say thank you for all the support and all the crazy amount of views, likes, and comments everyone's been leaving lately on these videos. We are very, very close to reaching the 5,000 subscriber mark. Definitely thank you guys for that. It's pretty damn crazy to think that I've gotten more subscribers over about the past month or so than I did all of last year, and I really just want to say thank you for that. It's pretty damn insane. But with all that being said, guys, let's get into these predictions. So we're going to start out this week with the Titan class. Now, last week you guys got Helm of the Saint 14, which was pretty nice if you guys didn't have that, or if you're a bubble titan. That thing is pretty cool because it actually blinds people that go in your bubble, so it actually has applications in PvP and PvE, which is pretty rare for a lot of these pieces of gear. But this time around, I think you guys are going to be getting some boots. I think you guys are going to be getting the Paragrine Greaves. Now, these are really mostly used in PvE. But in PvP, if you time it right and you launch your shoulder charge in the air, you can actually take someone out of their super with these legs. So honestly, these things are pretty damn cool in PvP. It's not really going to help you every single round that you play or anything like that. But it will definitely help you in certain situations. And a lot of people won't think to try to dodge a shoulder charge when they're in their super because they think they can kill you but you can actually get a shoulder charge off on them and one hit them which can be pretty devastating in Trials of Osiris. Now next up we've got the Hunters. Now you guys have got the Bones of the EAO again last week which are pretty damn great boots but this time around I think you guys are going to be getting a chest piece called the Press of the Alpha Loopy. Now this is actually another chest piece that's great for Trials of Osiris or Elimination really because it actually allows you to revive people and be revived a lot faster. Now with the nerfs back in the April update where they made the revives take a little bit longer, this chest piece has been being used a lot more recently and it actually does make quite a difference due to the fact that it does take a little bit longer now to regress people and you can't just walk through someone's revive anymore. So if you don't have this chest piece I would definitely pick it up, test it out into your super sweaty games and just help your teammates revive and be revived Enemy faster team. because it really does make a huge difference especially when you're versing a team that knows how to rest snipe this can actually make a huge difference if they don't realize you're running it and it really does allow you to get people up a lot faster so I would definitely pick this thing up if you don't have it already and finally for the Warlocks you guys are probably going to be getting some gauntlets personally I think you guys are going to be getting the Sunbreakers they increase the duration of your solar grenades and they also give you an additional solar grenade as well now they also have a chance to drop with one of the reloaders for just about every type of gun like scout rifles, auto rifles, and pulse rifles so depending on the drop it could be any one of those now again, with the nerfs recently back in the April update, these gauntlets do make the Sunbreakers pretty damn good again. As they did nerf the Fireball Grenades, these actually do bring them back just a little bit better. As they do increase the grenade throw distance, and they also do give you an additional solar grenade. So if the first one doesn't burn them out, the second one definitely will. Now before we get into the weapons guys, I actually want to touch on the Trials of Osiris map and give you a slight prediction, because I do think we're going to get a map that we have not gotten in quite a while. Now we could get Bannerfall because it hasn't been bought back in a while, but I would honestly Four really like to see like Blind them. Watch, which was that map that was back a few weeks ago, but then they ended up shutting Trials of Osiris off the very next day due to some issues and lag connections that there was going on. So they actually had to cancel Trials of Osiris. I'd really like to see this map come back Max because it hadn't been in trial since year one. And honestly, we never really got to play it either because it was only up for a day. And I never even went flawless or anything. I went 8-0 and, and then they ended up shutting Trials of Osiris down. And not really many people really did get to play on it. It's honestly one of my favorite maps for Trials of Osiris just because of the fact that it's like more of an open map, just like last week's Frontier, but it kind of has more cover and it's a very strategic type of map and honestly I would really like to see it come back. But we could also very easily see Bannerfall or Pantheon because those maps haven't come back in a while either and those are a bit more frequent. But I definitely do want to see Blind Watch come back before the Rise of Iron update. Now for the weapons guys, now I actually did get the prediction right last week with the invective. Now this time around, I don't think we're necessarily going to get anything too crazy, but I do think that we'll get something a little bit more rare. Something sort of like the truth maybe, or even the hereafter, which was only brought one time by Zer. I'd really like to see these weapons come back as well before the Rise of Iron, because a lot of people do want that hereafter. And the truth is also a very viable weapon in Trials, it's almost basically the most used heavy weapon out of all the Trials of Osiris, so for all those people that don't have it right now, they are at a bit of a disadvantage, and if it is Blind Watch, the truth on this map is enemy pretty team, damn crazy enemy. because of the tracking, and it's more of a far range map, so this thing is actually kind of necessary when playing Blind Watch just due to the far ranges and the crazy corners that are on that map. I'd really like to see the truth and the Blind Watch come back this week just for one final awesome run through Win. Trials of Osiris. Now we also do have the Legacy Engram. Now don't forget guys, if you are missing any type of gear or weapons, when he brings that Legacy Engram, you do want to try to pick it up and get the gear that you're missing as the year one version. And then you can always go in over to the kiosk to pick up the year 2 version. 
So this time around, I think he's going to be bringing the special weapon engram. So if you're missing Icebreaker or Patience in Time, you can actually pick those up with that engram and then buy the year two version from the kiosk. So just keep that in mind, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these predictions. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below. Also, be sure to leave your predictions in the comments down below. I do like to see what you guys predict and who gets them right. And if you're enjoying this video, be sure to stick around to the end to see this amazing clutch. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Guardian down. All enemies have been eliminated.